Drink your water. You love that. <laughs> So today is another mask on, mask off look. Have y'all been wearing y'all mask? Y'all been on there, right? Walmart, Dollar Tree, gas stations, the mall, especially gas stations, people. That's nasty. People I see that walk in the mall or in the gas station, the places that people be at most without mask, I be like, but Corona is walking viruses all over the place. But for real, it is another mask on makeup look and today i want to match with the mask and the shirt i got boy bye yeah this is my this is my theme right here baby i say this all the time boy bye <laughs> I say it to my boyfriend all the time. Anyway, so um, today we're going to work on a, you know, bold look for this look right here for this mask. We're going to work on some Shazam. We're going to improvise today because honestly, sis, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what I want to do. But has that stopped me before? Not at all. Don't know if I want to do glam. Don't know if I want to do like glamorous with matte colors. Don't know if I want to pop an eyeliner in there. Hmm, I'm just gonna get snazzy. But anyways, hey, how y'all doing? How y'all been? Have y'all eaten today? Did y'all drink y'all water today? You know water, one bottle a day keeps the bumps away, okay? Did you brush your teeth today? Did you don't taste that? that? That's in your mouth? Did you, did you pray? Did you tell the Lord thank you for waking you up? If so, hallelujah, praise him. Won't he do it? Um, if you are new here, hi, I'm a little loony. I'm a little crazy, I'm a little funny, but I like to have fun. Nice to meet you. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so so first, I want to start off with a little nip trick that I've been doing. I don't know if you guys noticed, but you know, I'm having these little darkness under my eyes that's got to go. I've been using these collagen eye masks right here. And they've been doing pretty well. They've been keeping my under eyes moisturized. Um, I've been seeing small results here and there. But um, I want to start doing these more. It's been keeping them less dry. It's been keeping them like, keeping me looking more awake. And you guys have seen these on me before, but I didn't really explain them this much. While I basically talk you guys through these, I will do my eyebrows while these are on. Because they got to sit under your eye for about 15 minutes. I'm going to do my eyebrows concealer on my eyebrows like everything that's got to deal with this part you know and worry about the under eyes afterwards right now i'm just kind of making sure the collagen is getting on my under eyes and it's very cooling whenever you first apply it's like it doesn't feel weird and sticky it feels like ice under your eye which makes me feel even more comfortable that they are working because if you put ice under under your eyes it helps with like bags and wrinkles as is so collagen helps brighten it and, you know, puts less stress to the under eyes. So, all right, now moving on, I'm using my favorite eyebrow pomade as of right now, which is going to be the, of course, Maybelline Tattoo Studio Pro Eyebrow Pomade in the shade 380 Deep Brown. Um, Y'all put me on to some more eyebrow pomades. I'm about to get the eyebrow pomade from Glamour Cosmetics, you know the brand I'm always talking about. I want to try different eyebrow pomades so that I can, you know, put you guys on as well because, you know, y'all ain't coming here just for one little thing here and there. Y'all want to see the whole shebang. So I'm going to... All right, so just to moisturize the face, give it a quick moisture, although I've already washed my face and um, moisturized it. I'm going to give it a quick spritz of this setting mist. Putting setting mist on your face before you put on makeup gives it that already set effect. So whenever you apply your makeup, everything applies smoother. Everything is already moisturized. It comes together. It, it actually blends even easier, especially if you have dry skin. That's a very great technique for you because your skin is kind of, I don't know how to explain dry skin. For one, I don't know how to explain it because I don't have dry skin. But I guess the best way you can explain it is that it always needs something. Dry skin always needs some sort of, some sort of moisture. With that being said, you put on that setting mist after you've already moisturized it like that. It's kind of like it locks it in. 
just like how Sick Mints locks in your makeup. So we're going to take our spoolie, brush up our brows, take our pomade. You're going to take the pomade via your eyebrows as you want. Honestly, I do my makeup like this every day for work. Like, you know, where I don't do a full face, but it looks like a full face of makeup. Honey, I really be finessing my mornings like that. People be thinking I got to wake up at 5 a.m. to do my makeup. Boo, no, I don't. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I wake up at 9 and I got to clock in at 10. 45 like no sis we do not wake up at odd hours of the day to be the face and as much as i love makeup i would never ever baby i need beauty sleep all right now we're going to take that concealer called it's you skin perfecting hd concealer by sistar and i'm just gonna go ahead and run it under those brows whenever i conceal under my brows i try to keep a really steady hand but at the same time making it quick and easy because if you keep a steady hand, you know, it keeps from having those concealer mistakes. I also want to be quick with it so that I won't risk myself in thinking about it too hard because then at that point, that's when we have those type of mistakes. All right, now I'm just going to blend it down with this brush. I'm just going to blend the bottom part down because I'm going to conceal. I'm just going to take this brush so that I can blend down the concealer from the eyebrows because I know I'm going to use the concealer stick by Juvia's Place to prime. So I don't really have to do that much work to this part. I just want to blend it down so that it's already blended. So here's that concealer stick that we all know and love that I was just talking about. But I also need more of it. I have a lot of makeup, you guys, and I'm always saying I need more makeup. It's bad. Um, bad habit, but I'm really disciplined. I promise you I am. As much as it doesn't sound like it, I really am disciplined with my money and how I spend it on makeup. Once I realize, you know, I've been looking at the Morphe website too long. I've been looking at Juvia's Place too long. You know, I've been looking at ColourPop, BH Cosmetics, anybody. Once I realize I've been on there too long and I've already checked out like two or three things, I'm like, okay, Jay, you're done. You spent so and so much money today. That's it. And, you know, I've really gotten better now, especially with everything that I'm trying to save up for. So I'm really at a point where I'm like, just a girl. Ain't no more of just spending because we like the way you look because we're not doing that anymore. All right, now I'm just patting out this concealer with this kind of angle brush. This angle brush is like a very diverse brush. I use this brush for so much. I use it for blending out concealer, blending out cream contour, blending out, you know, the primer. Everything is it's very good. All right, now I'm just taking this primer slash concealer across my nose bridge because I am going to put some contour right here. This mask covers up my face right there like it's, this mask is pretty it's pretty big so i don't need all of this part you know for my face today i just need exactly this but that is it and i'm going to go ahead and take my bh studio pro contour palette this yellowish shade and set in between my brows on the top of my nose bridge that we were talking about on my brows so that they don't move they don't get damaged they don't get ruptured throughout the day because baby we be sweating under this mask we don't need to be messed up we do not why am i still holding it up like this like come on y'all i am going to take this lighter tone right here in the middle contour the top of my nose bridge now it's time to take off these under eye mask Woo! Woo! boy all right, now I'm going to take the concealer stick again, hit under these eyes, take my brush, dab under there. And if you guys are wondering, no, it does not, like, feel weird putting on makeup after you take off the eye mask. If anything, it kind of feels better. It feels refreshing to have a healthy feeling eyes, healthy feeling under eyes, and putting on makeup under, oh, well, putting on makeup on top because you, you just don't have that weird feeling of, oh, no. I have dark under eye circles. I have to cover those up. After you do eye mask, you're like, okay, you'll get better. All right, now I'm sitting under my eyes with that yellow tone once again before I put on my setting powder. And this is just to avoid a lot of the creasing. Now I'm taking my setting powder by Fenty Beauty just so I can have something for the eyeshadow. All right, y'all, so what we finna do to this face, sis? What we finna do? We got we got black, white, of course. We got purple, we got red. So what we finna do? I don't know what I'm going to do today. So we're just going to improvise, okay? We're just, let's see, we got purple, black, white, red. 
got a little bit of gray. It looked like it got a little bit of blue in it, but honestly, it may be navy. I don't know. Okay, so I don't know what I'm going to do with my eyes. So give me about like, you know, 10 seconds and I'll be right back. And I'll have one eye done and the other eye not done. So I can show y'all what I did to that one eye. So I'll be right back. Okay, honeys. So this is what I came up with. I hope y'all like it. I like it. I think it's fun. I think it really does fit like this whole shebang. Ooh, I really like this. Okay. I might do this makeup look tomorrow. I said this last time. I was going to do that makeup look the next day. So this is how I started. I started off with this brush. And I dipped into the Zulu palette in this purple right here. Boy, I done picked up the lash, Lord. Oh, my God. <laughs> I used this palette right here, the Zulu palette, and I dipped into this purple. And I took it on the side of my eye, just blending it around about of my eye. And then I'm going to blend out this, this part right here so I can take it more into the inner part. All right, now I'm going to take this lighter purple in the Warrior 3 palette, and I'm using the shade Candice. And I'm just going to take this lighter purple and blend it up some. Not too much because I don't want it to be too out of there i'm just trying to make sure the purples are being emphasized and then i'm gonna take my blending brush again and blend that light purple now um i don't have anything on this blending brush it's just a clean blending brush so that i can blend my colors and take them where i want them to go now i'm about to take this smaller fluffy blending brush and use this black out the james charles palette now, if you're wondering why this one looks pressing and busted than the one y'all usually see, because this is my old James Charles palette. Sometimes I switch back and forth from it for no reason, but, you know, just letting you guys know. I don't want y'all to think I'm having a punch fist with my palettes, because I promise you, this is the older one, and the newer one is somewhere over there. I have to clean my stash, but, yeah, I'm just going to take this in the corner just to deepen it and blend it up. I didn't put too much of this black on my brush because it doesn't need it at all whatsoever. Taking that clean blending brush again and just taking it into the middle. Now I'm going to go back with this brush that we had before, dip into those purples again, and just tap on the top of that black just a little bit so we can make sure those purples are popping out. Okay, now the next step is to cut the crease. I'm going to use my concealer stick since it's already right here on hand. Now, if y'all wonder why it's kind of looking a little red, it's because there's still some red eyeshadow from when I cut the crease with this brush on this side, but that's okay. It's, it's gonna be red at the end of the day anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And now I'm gonna take that red out there, James Charles palette, and put it on that crease part. Now I'm gonna go back in with this small fluffy brush that we blended the black with. Go back in the black, blend the side of the crease, and blend my purples in. Now the next part is the white eyeliner. I'm going to use this white eyeliner from Freeor. I'm not pronounced this kind of weird, but Freeor. And this is a very sheer eyeliner, so I have to double coat it, but it still works wonders. I'm just going to create a white side to make sure everything is looking identical. And now I'm taking this white liner on the top part of my eye so I can make that little, you know, line up here. Don't we just love whenever eyeliner does that weird thing that it bleeds on the side and like it makes stuff look deformed? Don't we just love that? We love that. We adore it. We live for it. Y'all, I just spent about five minutes trying to make both these sides even and you know what? They're still not even. But it's okay. It's okay. Now I'm going to take this smaller fluffy brush. It's kind of got a little slight point to it. We're going to dip it in that purple from the Zulu palette and take it on this bottom lash line. Now we're taking the black as well and putting it on the outer part of our eye under it. And we're taking that red from the James Charles palette using that same brush we did on the crease and just putting it next to that purple. Now I'm going to take my mascara. And while we're letting the glue sit on the lashes for a second to let it get all tacky, we're going to use the Warrior 2 palette and highlight our inner corner with this white. And we're going to use a flat brush to do so and to just tap on the inner corner part. Ooh. Next, I'm going to highlight the rest of my face, you know, under my brows and the top part of my cheekbones with the Glamour Cosmetics palette. And I'm going to take this highlighting shade right here Take this little brush right here since, you know, most of our faces are going to cover the bottom mask. We're just going to take that smaller brush so we can highlight the top, top part of our This is glistening against the light. That's what we want. Oh, that's, that's, that's crazy. 
Okay, and then we're going to put it on our brow bone. And now we're going to apply our lash. Now the glue is all tacky. All right, and we all done. What y'all think, boo? What y'all think? Hold on, let me take off the ears. Y'all know I got to... Gotta show my mohawk, boy. I don't know if y'all know this. I love it. I love it a lot. I love it. So out, we can go slay, boo. In our mask, no mask don't matter, boo. Be in there, period. We're still here and we're still queer. We're still happy. We're still savvy. We're good, boy. Bye. You can't tell me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you guys so much for being here. Please don't forget to follow my social medias. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, tell your friends, your mothers, your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your mothers, and all of them else, all them other people. Please don't forget to tell them about little old me. I'm a little bundle of joy sometimes, but, <laughs> but seriously, thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I'm working for all of you guys, and please don't forget to continue making magic. Bye, you guys.